Hey guys, it's Mac and welcome to the YouTube channel. In this video, we will create this creative poster template design with a nice screen blending effect using Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so here I am in Adobe Illustrator with a standard artboard that I'll be working on. This is going to be a promotional flyer design, so you can select any standard size that you want. So the first thing we need to do is we need to import a nice dark background for our design. Download these files from the video description and then drag this dark textured background into Illustrator. Scale it down because it's a high resolution file and then align this image to the top left corner of your artboard. Now zoom in on the bottom edge and align this image to the bottom right corner as well. Once the adjustment of the background is complete, it's time to add our text for this promotional flyer. I'm going to use these two decent typefaces for my design which you can simply download from Google. At first, we will use the impact typeface. With the type tool selected, write the main headline for the promotion of your mobile application. Change the color of this headline to this nice bright yellow shade. Now bring this headline on top of your artboard and place it on a position like this. Now zoom out to see the full canvas and then make some final adjustment to your headline. So now we can add some secondary text below our headline. Now use this second typeface which is called Man Rope. And with the type tool selected, write some My Catchy Discount offer for the viewer. Change its paragraph alignment to left, and then align it to the left edge of the main headline to make sure that things are in line. Now decrease its font size quite a bit, and then place the secondary text just below the headline. Zoom out and adjust the spacing between these lines. Now we can add the Play Store and App Store buttons here below the text. You can download these pre-designed buttons for free from Google and then drag them on top of your design. Align these buttons to the left edge of the text and then scale them up to make sure that a significant amount of space is covered. Now zoom out and adjust their position. Now create a copy of this secondary text. Increase the font weight to bold. And then write your website link or any other helpful material. Also, decrease its font size just a little bit. And then adjust its position. Now create a copy of this text and write a contact number for the viewers. Now zoom out and make some final adjustments. So now the text part is finally complete, it's time to add our product image at the bottom. Drag this pizza image into Illustrator and scale it down because it's a high resolution image. Align this image to the center, place it at the very bottom and then scale it down to make sure that some suitable space is left around this image. So once the scaling and adjustment of the image are done, it's time to cut out a slice of pizza from our product image. First, create a copy of this pizza image and place it here at the top right corner. Select the pin tool from the toolbar and then create a triangular path on top of this pizza to cut out a delicious slice. Now select this triangular shape and the pizza image Go to the object menu and make a clipping mask. Now we have a nice, delicious pizza slice cut out from our product image. Place this slice at the top right corner and scale it down to make sure that it's not too large. So once the adjustment of this slice is done, select this pizza slice and the main product image. Go to the effect menu and select drop shadow. Select some suitable values according to your own preference and then hit OK. Now we have a nice shadow that depicts the light coming from this direction. Now that the adjustment of our pizza is complete, we can add the cell phone mockup on top of our design. Drag this mockup from the project files and then scale it down to adjust it according to the pizza image. Align this mockup to the center and then keep adjusting its size until a noticeable area of the pizza is covered beneath it. Adjust the mock-up in the center of the image and slightly move it upward. And also adjust the size. So once the mock-up adjustment is complete, move this mock-up outside the canvas because we need to add some design elements inside the cell phone. 
The first thing we need to do is we need to add a gradient background in the cell phone. Select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle inside this mockup just like this. Zoom in on the top area of the rectangle and ensure that the edges do not extend beyond the sides of the cell phone. Now open the layers panel and place this rectangle behind the mockup. Now open the gradient panel and click here to apply a default gradient and also change the gradient angle to 90 degrees. Now double click on this gradient slider. Set the color mode to RGB and apply a pure black color. Similarly, double click on the second slider. Set the color mode to RGB and apply a pure black color. Now select this first slider and change its opacity to zero. Now we have a nice faded rectangle inside the mockup. Now copy the headline text from the artboard, paste it inside the mockup, and write an eye catchy phrase for pizza lovers. Place it in the center, and also change its color to white from the color picker. Open the characters panel, and set the letting to a suitable value to adjust the spacing. Now we will apply a text warping effect to this phrase. Open the Warp Options panel from the Object menu. Set the Warp Style to Arc. Click on Preview to see the effect. And apply a bin value around 10 to 12. Once you are satisfied with the effect, simply hit OK. Now we have a nice eye-catchy text effect for our phrase. So now we can add more design elements at the bottom. Select the Rectangle tool and create a small rectangle in this area. Increase the height just a little bit and once more, ensure that the edges do not extend beyond the sides of the cell phone. Now from the Layers panel, place this rectangle behind the mockup. Now change its color to the primary color of this flyer design, which is this bright yellow shade. Now zoom out and see that the mockup is slowly coming to life. Once more copy the heading text from the artboard, Paste the text at the bottom and write a suitable phrase inside the mockup. Change its color to pure black and place it in front of this rectangle. Now decrease its size a little bit and align it to the center of this rectangle. Keep adjusting the size of the text and zoom out to see if things are in line. Make some final adjustments and the mockup design is finally complete. Now before bringing this cell phone mock-up inside the canvas, we need to remove a pizza slice from the image. So once more with the pin tool selected, create a manual path to extract a pizza slice from the product image. You don't need to be precise in making the path, because it's just a matter of extracting a pizza slice. So once the path is complete, select the pizza image and the path, go to the object menu, and make a clipping mask. So now we have the rest of the pizza with a nice cutout. Now select this pizza image and slightly rotate it counterclockwise, just like this. Keep rotating the image until you are satisfied with the desired angle of the cutout. So now the pizza is looking good and what we can do is we can select every design element of the cell phone mockup and drag it inside the canvas and on top of the pizza. Now rotate the full mockup including the design elements and make sure that the cut out of the image is directly beneath the cell phone screen. Keep rotating the mockup and also adjust the position until a desired result is obtained. So now the mockup adjustment is almost complete, but you might notice that the cell phone is not looking very realistic. So we will only select the cell phone shape. Go to the effect menu and apply a shadow. Select some values according to your preference and hit OK. Now you can see that the mockup is looking pretty realistic. Now select the text inside the mockup and adjust its position in the cutout portion of the pizza and also scale it accordingly. So once the text is adjusted, zoom out to see if everything is in line. You can select the pizza image and further rotate it if needed. So now the screen blending effect is finally complete. Before ending the design, we can add some vegetable images around this pizza. I'm using this vegetable vector file which I've downloaded from FreePick, but you can use any other image that suits your design. Find some good vegetable images for your design and paste them on top of your artboard. 
Now select the vegetable images one by one and place them randomly on these empty spaces, just like this. Keep creating some copies from the images and place them on the opposite side, just to give your design a nice, elegant look. So once you are done with the placement of these vegetables, select all these vegetable images, go to Effect menu and apply a shadow like the other design elements. However, select only a subtle shadow this time, and hit OK. And these vegetables are now looking realistic on the surface. So here is the final design, and this is how you can create a creative food poster template with a modern screen blending effect using Adobe Illustrator. Don't forget to like this video, and also subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.